Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Bob Connor here once again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the WWE 2K23 roster that's just been um, or recently uh, announced and to be honest it's I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's it's all right, uh, you know, because it has all the main people from Raw and SmackDown, but um, it's missing an uh, extremely amount of people on NXT, mainly, uh, which is the issue for me. Um, okay, fair enough, Raw and SmackDown's going to get most of the people. Uh, obviously a few going to be left out because they came back to WWE late or came in the company late or whatever. Um, but okay, fair enough. But I think, right, they've got NXT main people, Camilla, Camilla Hayes and Bron Breaker, um, Creed Brothers, uh, Grayson Waller, which is good. But I think there probably could have been a few more. Uh, I know those guys have been champions, but I think they could have had like Von Wagner, Tony Angelo, Briggs and Jensen, which have been tag champ NXT tag champions, so they've been champions. And Angelo and Wagner have been like, well, they have been top people in the past. Angelo's had like uh, top matches on their main. NXT shows, so I would have thought he would have been on there. Wagner's been like in main matches like in the past. Um, yeah, so, so I think those should have been added as well. Um, but hopefully they'll be added as a DLC. Oh, I should think they'll be added as DLC. I can't I mean, understand if that went on uh, the disc, base disc, you know. They're not adding the DLC, I can't understand why they were left out, to be honest, if they've been, you know, main NXT guys, but that's just my opinion anyway. Uh, if you're watching this, let me know your opinion and thoughts on the roster, who you think should be on there, uh, who you think shouldn't be, 